sculpture is an exhibition of modern and contemporary sculpture in the English gardens of Regent's Park. This year we've got 23 artists of 17 different nationalities, different generations, all coming together in this exhibition, which really shows the incredible vitality, the diversity and the strength of sculpture making across the world today. It's really hard talking about highlights, however, uh, I think we have to talk about the Robert Indiana because this was a really major undertaking to bring it to Freeze, to bring it to London. Not until you get it here do you really get a sense of the physical nature of it. And I'm really thrilled that uh, we have a work by Huma Baba here. She's a very important artist, born and raised in Pakistan, living in New York. Free sculpture is free and it's openly accessible. So this is a fantastically democratic and open space. It's really wonderful to be part of something which contributes to the life of the city. Autonomous Morris is a giant head behind me here made of cars. Using car parts in a way was very much a part of my London upbringing. I grew up just around the corner from here, so this is a big joy for me. Superhero Cogwoman here. She's a nod to the industriousness of women and just the desire to put a sculpture of a woman somewhere that isn't either fawning or naked, something that expresses the dynamism, I think, of women. That, that's what I, I'm trying to achieve. Cord was made by burying a length of rope directly in the earth, removing the rope and pouring molten bronze into the mould left behind. The land isn't just a setting for the artwork, but an active component in how the work was made. My work is about material and the relationship between the people, object and existence. I think there are certain themes that have developed in this year's edition. One of them is play and the kind of psychology of play, the importance of play and how play can be disrupted. This hybrid creature means for me something about our situation with nature inside of the skirt. It's for me kind of like a small universe. Somebody like a child kind of have this uh, moment of quietness and full of light. What we have here is titled Tudor Ball. Most of this work I made in my own studio in Brooklyn, but just yesterday installed the thatch, which was done by a master thatcher who works here in London. That's my hatchling. It's called the hatchling. The shell becomes a speaker. It's really about being overwhelmed when you encounter a new life. What's so exciting about this today is that people are going to be able to picnic next to a Tracy Emin in the middle of a Robert Indiana. Even if you see works of art in, in the public, in the periphery, they have an impact on your life and it's important that art is out there for everyone. I think it's really exciting for London.